There he is. Barrow Katia has reappeared on PC. He will be located on the Lerunda Relay, which is Mercury, PlayStation on the Cooper Relay Eris, Xbox Vespa Relay over on Venus, and on Switch, Koopa Relay, which is Eris. So let's jump in and see what he has brought on PC. He has brought... Ooh. Combo Fury. On melee kill, plus 100% reload speed, plus 100% magazine as well. Ooh, right, that's actually pretty good for 12 seconds on secondary weapons. Because you can have a throwing weapon and a secondary because a thrown weapon takes one hand, so a single secondary can be used in the other. That could be pretty useful. There is also Primed Ravage, 110% crit damage for shotgun, Primed Target Cracker, which is 110% crit damage for pistol, Primed Cryo Rounds, 165% cold damage for rifle, and Primed Fever Strike, 165% toxin damage for melee. There is Aka Luxem Ornament, very slowly just moves up and down, landing craft decoration. There is the Mad Luxem Ornament, same thing, landing craft decoration, this one has the middle bit moving. There is the Parazon Poster, landing craft decoration yet again, can be put on either way. So it can be the right hand or the left hand. The right hand or the left hand. Or you buy two and have both. There is the Prisma Jet Sentinel Wings, the Prisma Koi Sentinel Tail, there is the Prisma Mech Head Sentinel Mask, and probably better, the Prisma Gorgon. Primary weapon, uh, still a pretty good weapon. Usually comes with a Torsun skin when that turns up. Instead, there is the Prisma Scanner, a really good secondary weapon. Not amazingly good, but it is still a good melee weapon. Not secondary, melee. <laughs> there is the Prisma Latron chest plate, the Prisma Latron leg plate, the Prisma Latron shoulder plate, S comes with both, not just one. So both shoulder plates, even though it's actually just showing one. There is the Quanta Orpheus skin. This is just the skin for the Quanta. Can go on the Quanta Vandal. There is Gustag 3 beacon, used for summoning the Gustag B uh, 3 one time in a mission. You can buy many, you can only use one per mission. Katia Dayak Sandana, long Sandana, and the Redeemer Elixir skin. Do like the Elixir skins, they do look pretty nice. When you can actually rotate the character around and see the detail on it, just in time for him to put it down to the side so you can't see it anymore. Hydroid's Immortal skin has lots of different colour options there. That does look pretty nice. Pedestal Prime. You can't rotate this either. Huh. I thought you could. It looks the same on all three sides. Because it has three sides, even though it's round. Cockus Sandana. Um, melee dangly. Kind of see it just a little bit there. And on the other hand. Dark Sword. Day of the Dead skin. Instead of it being in the marketplace, Barrow brings that. And he also brings the Dread, Day of the Dead skin, and the Warsaw, Day of the Dead, Kvat armor. Do like that. I've always liked that one. That looks really good. As well as, in my belly, Glyph. Can't remember. Yes, that came last year. Sands of Anoris Blueprint, fixed item, comes every time. And if you have Anaurus Prime and you have him equipped when you go to see Barrow, you can also pick up the Barrow Void Signal once every time he turns up. Jumping over to console really quickly, I'm actually amazed how many people are actually on Xbox. Must have jumped on a very busy relay for once. There is the Chroma Immortal skin and the Immortal loading screen because we all know those last way too long. Hopefully the next gen consoles won't have that problem. There is Collision Force, 120% impact for melee. Crash Course, 120% impact for rifle. Full Contact, 120% impact for shotgun. And Pummel, 120% impact for, you guessed it, pistol. There is the Mantis Cydonia skin. Do like these. 
quite a lot. I'm waiting for them to make a skin for the new ship though. There is the Prisma Lotus Glyph. There is the Kindred Rug landing craft decoration. There is the Prisma Yamako Sandana, which I used this for a really long time. I think it's still actually equipped on some of my frames. The twin Grakata Tosun skin can be used on the single one. Everybody keeps telling me this, but I've not actually picked up that skin, so don't know. The Volcar Wraith, the only way to get this is from Barrow, and this is a pretty decent sniper rifle. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. Not the best, but it is really good. There is a machete skin, and I like that, and I'm so glad that Melee 3.0 made machetes so much better. Prisma Tetra, probably... No, I'd still go for the sniper rifle out of the weapons. This has a good animation for the clips flying off when you are shooting it. Apart from that, it doesn't have the best of damage. The sniper rifle is slightly better. The Nexus Gene Masking Kit, obviously for Kavats. And if we actually click on this one and wait through the immortal loading screen, you can get a better look at the skins. No point doing that for the colours, however. There is 3D Credit Booster. Prisma, Avia, Ankle, Plate. This is where I got confused with the Prime one because obviously this one comes from him. Or at least the Prisma version, obviously. He's the only one that sells Prisma stuff. There is the chest plate to go with it and obviously the shoulder plates as well. There is 3D Resource Booster. There is the Katia Sakara. It's the emblem that goes on the arm. There is the Axi A5 Relic for the dual wielding Vasto Prime, Prisma, Rostam, Kubro Armor, and the Immortal Loading Screen yet again. Do like this one, this is probably one of the better uh, Kubro Armors that he actually sells. He does sell some, let's be honest, rather horrid ones. There is, because it's October, the Dark Sword Day of the Dead skin, the Dread Day of the Dead skin, the Warsaw, Day of the Dead skin, and the In My Belly Glyph. On console there is also the Fear Path Ephemera and the Sands of Anoris blueprint. Of course on both he will be around until Sunday morning so if you want anything you have until Sunday to get in and get it. It's never good if he has something to wait that long though because you never know. You, something may come up, you may miss him, but I was actually amazed to say I don't have the Dark Sword Day of the Dead skin. Got the rest of them, don't have that. Oh, the glyph. Why did I not pick the glyph up? I don't know. But of course, don't forget the Day of the Dead skins he will bring next time he's here, hopefully. He should. He did usually bring those. Everything else will cycle back through. The Day of the Dead stuff is probably just for October. But everything else, if you can't get in, there's no need to panic. Everything else will cycle back through. We'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.